Spark is a super useful performance profiling plugin which provides you with a variety of tools to help you diagnose performance and memory issues on your server. So here's your guide to installing and using Spark on your Minecraft server. To install Spark, you just need to download the .jar file which corresponds with your server type. For Forge or Fabric, you'll need to use the CurseForge version, and for Spigot or Paper, you'll need the Spigot MC version. Now open up your server control panel and shut down your server. Head to the Files tab and locate the folder called Mods or Plugins depending on your server version. Now drag the .jar file that you downloaded earlier into this folder, then start your server back up so it can finish installing those files. Now Spark should be installed, but before we head into Minecraft, because we'll be using in-game commands, you should make sure you have OP on your server. To do this, just type OP space and then your username into the console. Now open up Minecraft and join your server. When you connect your server, Spark should automatically be running in the background. So let your game run for about 10 minutes or more, then type forward slash spark space profiler space stop in the chat to create a performance profile of your server. Click the link provided in chat and your profile will open in your browser. Now it would take way too long to go over every single piece of information on this screen, so we'll leave a link to the full spark documentation in the description, but as an example of how you could use spark to diagnose lag on your server, find the server threads at the bottom of the page and click to expand the thread. Then look for any threads which have a high runtime percentage and follow them down to investigate what's slowing down your server. In this case, it appears like too many entities, specifically creepers, is causing our server to lag, which makes sense since I trapped thousands of creepers in this pen. So that's how you install and use the Spark plugin to troubleshoot issues on your Minecraft server. If you get stuck or have any questions, you can check out the Spark documentation linked in the description, or you can get in touch with ShopBite support via our helpful chatbot or with our expert support team in the support tab.